Okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> so today I've been, uh, the past few days actually, I've been making uh, some vases that are you know, collared at the neck and are really thinly spouted. And here's the picture I've been working from. I, took a, I did a little bit of a sketch uh, at the beginning just to get an idea of what kind of shapes I was interested in. So as you can tell, it's kind of been in, uh, in the middle of those, between wine bottle and <laughs> kind of a veed uh, vessel. So here, I'm gonna get started. about this one. I, I think we're listening to each other better. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Cross your fingers. start to collar it in a little bit to have an idea where and start bringing it in I'm coning it in first just to kind of give it the sense of the shape I'm trying to go for and then I'm going to be a little bit more insistent after this pass so around here where I'm starting. into this rim, I'm making sure that there is enough thickness on the rim because it's easy to make them too thin and they're definitely prone to cracking because then it won't be a uniform thickness throughout the whole vessel. And a lot of these I'm also planning on putting into a pit fire, which can be um, really, can exploit any you know imperfections that there might be in a piece. So keeping it you know relatively thick and uniform for this is definitely ideal for that type of uh, firing later on, but even if it was through it, just a, an electric kiln or something like that, it's really good to keep them uniform so they dry at the same rate and then there's no, um, you know, difference in, in how much water there is left over in the vessel because of that kind of stress with a dry piece at the top and more of a moisture on the bottom due to contraction, that will make a piece crack. So I have my piece of leather here which helps to compress the rim. Thank you. 
lift this off. Dry hands will really help. Looking good. All right, and there they are. The one in the middle, the tallest. This one is the one that we just made on the wheel. And they're all drying and looking pretty good. All right, thanks so much if you made it to the end of this video. <laughs> so I think that that's one of my favorite lessons I've learned in pottery. It's, you know, if something is not working, it's better time spent to just scrap it and move on to the next one. Sometimes it takes three takes, sometimes you get it on the first, and sometimes you're still learning. <laughs> so that's fine too. So um, yeah, that came out really well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>